These are our top stories this Thursday. A man is fighting for life and a mother and her 10-year-old daughter have been injured when they were attacked by two dogs in Sydney's west. Nine News understands a large group of farmers is about to abandon the National Party over the water crisis ahead of the state election. And an Australian novelist detained in China has been charged with espionage and could now face the death penalty. Work on the new airport at Badgerys Creek is well underway and just the beginning of what promises to be a jobs boom for Western Sydney. But there are surprises too. Nine News has been given an exclusive look at some of the artefacts uncovered just beneath the surface. Every day the bulldozers scour their way across this landscape, levelling an area the size of a small city. Over the next few years, we need to move 20 million cubic metres of earth to create the runways for this uh, airport. But this airport is so much more than just a transport hub. The selling point from day one was that it would also be an employment hub with the potential that it could one day even rival Parramatta as Sydney's second CBD. There'll be 11,000 jobs alone during the construction phase, 28,000 jobs by the time the airport opens in 2026, but the aim is to create 200,000 full-time jobs within 20 years. Not just actually in the creation of the airport, but around the airport as well, because a lot of businesses will want to locate themselves near the airport. While the airport is at the forefront of modern technology, beneath the surface, archaeologists have uncovered the peak of technology from tens of thousands of years ago. Aboriginal artefacts, everything from arrow and spearheads to charcoal from cooking fires. We look at this thing here, it's probably used for some grinding. But if you feel it, it's so smooth. These artefacts will be curated by local elders and eventually integrated into the final airport design. And in a first for a major Australian infrastructure project, an Aboriginal advisory team has been appointed. Having our people involved in that process is going to be really important. And it's something that we want to do the right way, uh, in a respectful way, and making sure everyone is engaged. But it goes further, with the large local Indigenous population encouraged to work here too. We want to ensure that those Aboriginal people can take advantage of the opportunities which Western Sydney has to offer. Eddie Meyer, Nine News. Not all car seats are created equal. That's the message from the NRMA. After testing revealed paying more does not guarantee extra safety. Nine popular car and booster seat brands were scored on safety. The top rated seat, Mother's Choice Trinity Booster, retailing at just $99. Not one scored a full five stars with the InfraSecure Neon 2 rear-facing restraint given just 1.9 stars for protection. If you were thinking of skipping the gym, you might want to think again. New research has found that exercise can treat and even prevent depression. The international study of the genetics of 300,000 people shows that just 15 minutes a day can significantly reduce the risk of mental illness. A Melbourne couple has made a dramatic delivery, giving birth at the bottom of the 1,000 steps in Victoria's Dandenong Ranges. The parents were on their way to hospital when they were forced to pull over, coached through labour by a triple zero operator. Hey. Oh God, the baby's head's coming. That's OK, that's OK, I'm going to help you through this, OK? We got about two minutes from the hospital and I said, you've got to pull over, it's baby's coming out. He thought I was joking. I was not. <laughs> The family now back home with their bundle of joy, baby Mitchell with a story to tell for his 21st birthday. Coming up in our news, finance, Sydney petrol prices and Amber with our weather. Thanks, Pete. Adelaide's record-breaking heat is heading our way with scorching temperatures expected for Australia Day. Right now, though, it's a mild 25 degrees in the city, 27 in our west. I'll have your holiday forecast in just a moment. A surge in part-time work over December has seen the unemployment rate drop to 5%. Almost 25,000 part-time jobs were added last month, but full-time roles did fall by 3,000. The jobless rate in New South Wales remains at 4.3%. To finance and the market closed higher today, the All Lords putting on 21.8 points. Our dollar is buying 70.97 US cents. The average petrol price for unleaded is sitting at $1.31.1 a litre, $1.43.3 a litre for diesel. Here's Amber. 
It was a cloudy day with light to moderate southeasterly winds. This was a view from Jubilee Park in Glebe a little earlier. It reached a top of 31 degrees in Penrith, 30 in Richmond and Campbelltown, 25 in Gosford, Terry Hills and Cronulla and 28 in the city. The cooler conditions on the central coast welcomed by the newest arrival at the Australian Reptile Park, three-year-old Pip who is an endangered female numbat and the only one in a New South Wales zoo. A cooler day for much of the coast under partly cloudy skies only reaching 24 degrees in Bega and in Batemans Bay although the far north still hit the 30s. Another day of extreme heat in our far west mostly sunny and 43 in Griffith and in Burke. Tomorrow a tropical cyclone will move parallel to the northwest WA coast while troughs will take heat and thundery showers across New South Wales, Victoria and into Tasmania. So a possible shower on the way for Brisbane heading for 32 degrees, sunny and 39 for Canberra. Hot again for the tennis in Melbourne reaching 44 before a cool change and relief from Adelaide's record breaking heat a much milder 31 degrees. Mostly sunny conditions across New South Wales tomorrow and it will be several degrees hotter than today heading for 45 degrees in Griffith, Albury and in Burke while coastal areas will range from 28 in Wollongong and Coffs Harbour to a scorching 36 degrees in Bega. Sydney will be cloudy to start clearing to a mostly sunny afternoon with light northeasterly winds. It will be very hot in our west reaching 37 in Richmond, 38 in Penrith, 36 degrees on the way for Blacktown and Liverpool, 37 in Campbelltown, a little cooler along the coast thanks to the sea breeze, 31 in Gosford, 29 degrees for the city and 28 in Cronulla. Looking ahead, a perfect day for Australia Day, sunny and 33 degrees, a few clouds around on Sunday, a top of 32, while the public holiday Monday is looking cloudy with a top of 28. The warm weather sticking around next week with tops of 29 to 31 degrees, those nights hovering around 22 to 23. In our West Australia Day will be hot and sunny, reaching a sweltering 42 degrees. That heat sticking around on Sunday with a late shower to 39. Cloudy with a possible shower on Monday 35 and that will be the coolest day all week with temperatures soaring back up into the high 30s, Pete. 42, can't believe it. Amber, thank you. That is Nine News for this Thursday. I'm Peter Overton. I hope you have a good evening. From all of us, good night.